Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with set number 71008, Collectible Minifigures Series 13, and today we have The Carpenter. This is ages 5 and up, it is one of 16 figures to collect in this series. It was re released in 2015. This particular minifigure has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces to his set. And this is available in the United States for $3.99. Now we'll take a closer look at our packaging. On the back, I will show you the two dots that I found for the dot code. That's the only part that I could find. I could be wrong about this, though, because I usually don't feel for the dots. I feel for the parts. Now we'll take a look at our checklist. The Carpenter is number 9 of 16 figures. On the back, we get to see the code to use for the LEGO Minifigures online game. This is also available to use for winning a grand prize on lego.com slash minifigures. If you're collecting these by the checklist, any checklist that has this number, 25, will be the carpenter. So that even though the, ch the code changes for using online, for the minifigures online game, you will still have that same number in the top corner, and you'll know it's for the Carpenter minifigure. So taking a closer look at this Carpenter, I knew that I was going to be, it was going to be a fan favorite right away from me. This is an excellent looking figure all the way through. Let me just take off his accessories so you can see his details a little bit better. First off, we have the sleeve, the shorter sleeves for his torso, which I think works out pretty well for a carpenter. We have that excellent looking printing on his legs, which shows off his tool belt, little screws on there. There's even a ruler in another pocket. He's got the cool little handyman logo there with looks like a hammer and a saw. He's got a little bit of chest hair on him and the torso. It might be a little bit of a tight shirt because you can see a little bit of muscle pulling through. He's got a nice genuine face. And as you notice with him, he doesn't have any back printing. I guess it's really not needed too badly. And there's no back printing on his face as well. I notice with this one, the hat isn't too, I guess the printing for the head rather, isn't too far upward that it's interfering with the hat. The hard hat is actually the same one we have for hard hat Emmett. The only difference is that the hair is a little bit of a lighter brown and the helmet itself is a bright yellow orange. There's a better look at his face, which looks pretty good. He's a nice looking handyman, ready to build a building. And he has just the tools for it too. We have a 1x4 tile, which is printed as if it were a 2x4, two by, two by yes, usually a, a term for Certain pieces of wood would be 2x4, but it's funny to say this is a 1x4, 2x4. And it's really nice printing on here. I'm sure people would collect these, uh, this figure multiple times just to get that tile piece. I know how you have. They're actually great for making some nice uh, wooden floors in different mocks. We also have this cool saw piece that's also included with the set. It fits on his hand very easily and has a nice two-tone color to it. So you have the actual blade color and the handle color. I'd say this is a pretty cool looking figure. It's definitely one I would recommend getting multiple times, not only for the tile, but also just to have Hendy Man around. You could have a whole bunch of people dressed similarly like this, or perhaps wearing similar um, tool belts. So they, they could be working on new buildings for your Lego world. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out some other collectible minifigure reviews on my channel. We've reviewed ones from this series, 13, as well as previous series. And we'll be reviewing more of these very soon. So stick around, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.